hey guys so today i want to discuss my income statement with you all and i will also share one of a new tool that i have found for print on demand research so before we go to this tool let's just discuss my income statement for today i will try to provide my daily income report and uh, maybe you guys uh, can ask some questions if you want to ask about something specific that i'm doing and i'll be sharing some of the things that i am doing right now so let's start currently i have got three blogs and uh, all these are niche blogs so there are three blogs first one is only 2.59 dollars for today it's just today income report other one is 17.6 dollars uh, it is an ai blog by the way it's a fully ai blog so i'm kind of happy actually that uh, i don't have to do a lot of work this is the content at all is all ai i'll be sharing you my process in the future once this blog die down i will definitely share third one is uh, basically simple niche blog and this is one of my oldest blog it is it has made me 48 dollars these are all from ads right so these are all from ads so it's nothing nothing to extraordinary just blog ads now next one is basically print on demand all right so print on demand is actually pretty simple print on demand and uh, like you basically provide a design and they just print it on any kind of merch any kind of cup t-shirt whatever and they just ship it to a customer i use printfy and printfy has been uh, my go-to for print on demand for years now so i can vouch for it and uh, i made about 102 dollars i have a couple of niche pages uh, in contact actually and uh, i don't necessarily run them i just know them so i put up my design there and get some sales i'll be sharing my go-to niches for print on demand in the upcoming videos so just uh, you know regular viewers will definitely benefit from them and if you guys are starting out with print on demand and if you got any questions feel free to ask i have pretty good amount of experience with print on demand and i can definitely help you guys to get some sales so this is print on demand got 102 dollars pretty good pretty happy uh, anything you know print on demand takes a lot of time to build so just make sure that uh, you have everything in order and like uh, how you're gonna get your designs and uh, what kind of merch you should sell if you're starting out i recommend to go with t-shirts so that, that's all there is to it let's go to the next one affiliates affiliates are basically affiliates you guys already know what is affiliate income is one of the most popular form of uh, revenue for many 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 content creators uh, for affiliate it's already from my blog and uh, nothing nowhere else just affiliate blog affiliates i should i, I should write blog affiliates so basically it's just from a lot of different ones like from amazon from some seo and stuff i cannot share my niche uh, because if i share my niche uh, or i cannot uh, tell you my exact affiliates because that will actually ex tell you my niche so, so try to just understand and uh, i want you guys to get all the information but uh, once a niche is shared on the internet it's just it's very difficult there are so many issues and i'll be sharing you all why you should be very careful with sharing your niches and stuff on youtube so it is what it is it's just part of work all right so next one is trading trading is just something that i do as uh, because i've been trading for a while now about uh, seven eight years so i've got good amount of experience but i don't necessarily do it a lot as you can see it's just 29 dollars it's just i bought some stocks a couple of days ago and just uh, now i sold it so got like 29 dollars out of it and it is minus fees and everything so this is net to net revenue it's nothing nothing is left i have paid all the fees and stuff for the trade and deducted all the all this stuff so all right next one is basically freelance work freelance work is something that i really really enjoy if uh, you know if the payment is right so i do a lot of different kinds of freelance work for seo and keyword research and sometimes i do keyword you know work in uh, not just keyword but also in the music industry to be specific and i have worked for music production uh, projects and uh, worked in some whatever kinds of 
because they, they got for advertisements and stuff and I just helped them to mix and master it. I don't necessarily make the music but I helped to mix and master those mu music projects and I absolutely enjoy it. EDM is my favorite genre. EDM and hip hop uh, is just uh, some uh, extra information. So let's just go to the next one. Uh, next is drop shipping. Drop shipping I made around $97. Now here's something I want to you guys to know about drop shipping guys drop shipping is extremely difficult many people think it's really easy because all these so called gurus on the you know internet just whatever they are saying to make how to make ten thousand dollars a month and whatnot guys it's extremely difficult to make money in drop shipping extremely difficult and i'm going to show you my expenses regarding all these expenses you see here many of the expenses are for drop shipping so let me just discuss this and uh, i think we are done here that's all the income sources i have right now so these are like three four five six seven eight i got like eight income sources right now so it's it's all right i'm trying to increase and diversify some more because i have a little bit of time left in the my days because i'm trying to make it up my full-time income and right now i'm nowhere near it but uh, after some diversification maybe so all right so the total revenue is 401.09 dollars so 401 dollars and nine cents so let's just go to the expenses now the most important part so the first one is writers i paid like 55 dollars today for writers now here's the question that many people may have like what writers and how do i find those writers and for what blogs actually it's not really very you know kind of suspenseful most of the money that i spend for real writers comes goes to niche blog number three all the writers most of the writers right here i write in blog number one and the ai blog is not for ai blog is for the second one so 55 dollars so actually today was if we see by numbers it was a negative day so blog number three has given me a loss but it's all right because now that i think about it uh, these blogs are always gonna these blog posts are gonna be on my website and they will keep giving me revenue so i'm happy in that regard so let's go to the next one ai writer ai writer and uh, i will be sharing what ai writer i use i use a bulk ai writing tool so it's pretty good i'll be sharing you in the future ai writer i have a monthly plan it sub comes to three dollars a day so it's like hundred dollars a month so three dollars and some change but i only put three dollars so today was actually a profitable day so a very profitable day if we see it like this so i'm happy with that let's go to the next one fv ads one of my most spent uh, advertising platform and uh, on this platform i've spent like 80 dollars today and i have run some bigger campaigns on facebook ads too but today was actually kind of a slow day 80 dollars is not that much if we see the kind of spending that is needed to actually run a successful successful e-commerce or whatever store whatever kind of campaign you're running in 80 dollars i am running currently about uh, eight campaigns i guess yeah eight, eight campaigns i'll be showing you my campaigns in the future uh, once they are a little bit you know saturated and whatnot because i don't want to saturate them right now once they anything goes on the internet people will find out there's a possibility of some you know clicks and stuff and just i try to keep them as organic as possible so anyways every ads is like 80 dollars and all this stuff you see, I will be sharing in the future. I don't want you guys to think that I, will, I don't want to share it. I just think that uh, it's better to, whatever question you got, you can ask me. I will help you out with your own campaigns, but it's better to have my campaigns right now running as they are, all right? And now let's talk about the FB ads campaign. So for FB ads, I'm running for drop shipping and also a little bit of pod but pod is mostly from niche pages and uh, from instagram and whatnot niche pages and i'm also doing some pod in other promotions as you can see here 40 dollars in other promotions and some of this stuff is going to google ads and google ads i'm currently the kind of experiment this is just experimental on google ads but the stuff that i'm doing on google ads if it goes you know if it gives 
very good results for next 15 to 20 days i will definitely share with you all this is gonna be mind-blowing the kind of stuff that i'm going to show you it's i'm getting sales for super cheap all these you know this 102 dollars you see here other than like one sale all the other sales come from google ads so i'm like in the profit of at least 60 dollars if not more 60 to 70 dollars this is just amazing so i'm really happy with the results from google ads as far as the facebook ads goes drop shipping it's all right it's like 70 dollar profit it's not that good it's not not even possible actually so i'm trying to diversify i will be sharing my results in the upcoming video so let's just talk about other promotions for 40 dollars the other promotions is basically for some is from for blog my blog because i am just promoting it from buying the backlinks and stuff the backlinks are really cheap cheap and really bad so i don't know if these backlinks will ever work but uh, these are just for my blog number one blog number one is just really weak blog it's not doing very good so i'm just trying to get it working so 40 dollars like some backlink and stuff and a couple of promotions where i have just put it on relevant websites i'll be showing you how i basically get my website links on different relevant blogs and stuff it is form of backlinking but uh, in a very technical way because it's not necessarily i don't necessarily treat them as backlink i treat them as free traffic as kind of not necessarily free just the traffic that i get from posting the link on some relevant blog and uh, i'll be showing you that too so that's all there is to it so this is my net profit net profit is 200 three rupees and nine cents it's all right it's nothing too extraordinary but uh, yeah so that's all my for my income statement now let's do, talk about the this new tool i have found for you all this is trends.podcs.com this is a basically a tool for print on demand research and I don't want to spend a lot of time here to show you all what this tool do because in quite frankly it's fairly simple I have shown tools like this before and uh, yeah you can basically just go here you can see all the winning designs once you click here and uh, this will show you all the winning designs and stuff yeah here you go it is loading there's a subscription too but i recommend you all to start with free and then once you start to make some money then pay for the subscription it's always uh, you know good to pay for the services that you think are useful to you all right so yeah i think currently it's taking a little bit of time to load for some reason i don't know maybe it's my ad blocker or something no so now it's open so this is basically it tells you where the campaign is running what is the selling price what is the profit margin it tells so much about about a whatever campaign they are running so let's just see and i have clicked on a design so it's opening the page so here you go it is it will give you the description they are using how many shares this particular post so this is from facebook how many comments how many reactions and uh, what kind of product they are using everything so this is like so much information the product cost is 7.12 dollars profit margin is 14.88 dollars selling price is 22 dollars there is so much stuff here currently for some reason the website is kind of slow and uh, but it's all right it's all the information we can get for free it's a lot so i think it's because of the ad blocker and stuff but if you guys have any questions regarding this website just feel free to ask me i don't know why currently it is not loading properly but uh, i'll be sharing one more tutorial regarding this website i have just found it so i have to explore this website too but it's pretty amazing how much information you can get for free so this is trends.podcs.com so here you go so the graphic is open now so as you can see this is just the graphics and stuff this is just you can see what kind of stuff they are using in their in their ad and whatever ad it is so as you can see here 
a pretty good graphic and you can basically yes use anything anything mid journey or leonardo to create a design like this actually <laughs> just a bonus idea for you all if you are really serious and you can just go for a view image and view image page link image page so you can just visit their shop too yeah, as i just clicked as you can see i just clicked on visit the product page so the product page is opening right now so this is the product page here it's not really the product page it is basically the whole collection page which is actually very good so here we can see the collection page here so these these are all the results and it's converted the currency and stuff but anyways so this is all there is to it and uh, this is how you use this particular tool i highly recommend you all to go and check it out podcs.com trends.podcs.com or just podcs.com you can just search for podcs.com and you will find it trends.podcs.com this is the whole url so that's all there is to it i will meet you in the next video thanks for all thanks thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one